Today, I would like to speak on the topic, did Jesus claim to be God? Where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Angam Ji Cha Hong. I am the founder of World Media. Please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is, did Jesus claim to be God? Where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Muslim scholars always ask this common question. Where did Jesus himself say, I am God, worship me. This is a kind of a sarcastic question to me to counter the divinity of Jesus and Christian theology as well as Christian faith. This is also a direct challenging to the Christian faith where Muslim knew that this exact word is not found in the Holy Bible. But the truth is that the entire Holy Bible is about Jesus and his divinity. The entire Old and New Testament pointing to Jesus about his divine claim. Sadly, Muslim cannot accept this truth about Jesus' claim to be God. The proof is the profound statement in the scripture. Yet, they said, if not this exact word, they cannot accept it. So they said, if this exact word found in the Holy Bible, they will believe Jesus as the God, and worship him. This is very unfortunate that Muslim cannot accept the truth of the Holy Bible and they are intentionally misunderstood of Jesus' divinity. Therefore, their perception and interpretation of the scripture is not validated. Let me answer to this question with the references from the Holy Bible as well as from the Quran. And this is my humble desire to express the truth about Jesus' divinity claim in the scripture. So what does the scripture say and how do we understand about Jesus' divinity from the scripture? Let the scripture present who Jesus is all about. It is very true that almost all other religion and other faith including Judaism and Islam consider Christianity is just one of the religions. And Muslim claim that there are more Christian than Christian. They also claim that there are more religious people than Christian. But that is not the truth because Christianity is more than a religion. It may sound like unusual, but this is the fact and true. And Christian faith does not measure or recognize by the religious outward appearance only. In fact, the Christian value more the insight, pure in heart, renewing the mind, and change the heart. Because the God of the Bible looks at the heart. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, Matthew chapter 12, verses 33 through 34, and chapter 15, verses 18 and 19. Christianity is not just about outward. The uniformity of dress code, the food habit, the performance of outward ritual, and description of religious activities. But Christianity is much more than a ritual religious activity. It is heart and soul, a close relationship with God, repentance and self-denial, and believing in Jesus is the basic foundation. And love is the essential and devotion to God. Unfortunately, Muslims are judging Christianity faith by their own perception, not according to the scripture. And what they believe Jesus is not the same Jesus of the Bible. And they are not honest in their heart, looking for the true biblical Jesus. Because the perception and the interpretation of the scriptures are not reliable and authentic. Very sadly, they are asking this question for the sake of debate an argument. Moreover, they are not able to accept the central meaning of the Christian scripture, the Holy Bible. In fact, the Bible is very clear that whoever honestly serves his heart will find who Jesus is in the scripture in Jeremiah 29 verse 13. Okay, let's see what other religion say about who Jesus is. Let me start with Muslim. What do Muslims think of Jesus? They believe that Jesus was one of the many prophets of Islam. A good and holy man, he is a great messenger of God, 
but they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God and Jesus is God. And what do the Jews think of Jesus? They also believe that he was born as Jewish, a good man, a charismatic leader, a great teacher. And some Jews believe Jesus as a prophet like Moses. He is a historical figure, but they rejected Jesus as a son of God. And they have also rejected Jesus as Messiah. Therefore, most Jews don't consider Jesus as their Messiah. But Christians are Jewish. All of his disciples, followers, were Jewish in the early days. Christianity is spread out from the Jews to other community. Today, more than 2.3 billion population of different tribes and nations across the globe believe in Jesus as their Savior, the Christ, the Messiah, and Jesus is the Lord. What do Mormons think of Jesus? They also believe that God created Jesus through a relationship with one of his heavenly wife. They even believe that Lucifer or Satan was a son of God and brother of Jesus, according to the book, Mormon book of Moses, chapter 4, verses 1 to 4. What do Jehovah Witness think of Jesus? They also believe that Jesus was a normal human being and is an equal who is one of the many gods according to the Watchtower Bible and Trek Society. Hinduism, the oldest religion in the world. What do Hindu think of Jesus? They also believe that Jesus was one of the many great and holy men. Many Hindus believe that Jesus was a good teacher, a guru, and perhaps one of the 330 million gods and one of the avatar. And what do Buddhists think about Jesus? They also believe that Jesus was an enlightened man, a great teacher like Buddha, but they do not consider Jesus as a son of God or he is God because they have no personal belief in God. And what does the New Age think of Jesus? They also believe that Jesus was a great enlightened teacher who realized that he was a God since they believe that everything is God. You are a part of the all, therefore you are a God. These three monastic faith, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity originated from the Old Testament. Therefore, there are many similarity identity in their belief. However, there are many different forms and belief because Christianity is more than a religion. It is more interpersonal relationship, intimacy, and communion with God. Very interestingly, both Christian and Muslim also believe that Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary and had no father. Jesus has an important historical figure in the faith of Islam. However, there is a great distinction in belief and theology between Islam and Christianity. The Muslim God, Allah, and the Christian God of the Bible are not the same. They are different God. Muslim believe that all messengers of God in Islam. Likewise, Jesus came to his people from God with a message. The message of Jesus is called Injil, according to Quran and the Gospel, which is also found in the Quran. As in tradition, he is a miracle walker and a healer. He gives sight to the blind and raised the dead. The Quran has more miracles attributed to Jesus. Muslims also believe that Jesus will come back to bring justice to the world. It is written in the Quran that Jesus, Isa, will come back to just the world. Why the Quran has written about the return of Jesus to bring justice to the world. But Prophet Muhammad, the last prophet of Allah, according to the Quran, will not return, will not come back to just the world. Like all other Old Testament prophet, but Jesus will return to just and do justice. It is very clear that only God can bring final judgment or justice to the world. Here we see that Jesus will bring 
the final judgment and justice to the whole world. The question is, can a prophet bring ultimate justice and judgment to the world? If Jesus was a prophet, then Jesus cannot be qualified to bring the final judgment. But here we see in both scriptures that the Quran and the Holy Bible recognize the divinity of Jesus. The, the scripture is pointing Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Messiah. But Muslims deny the true deity of Jesus as a son of God and all the attributes of Jesus. The question is, where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? This is unreasonable question because Muslims could not understand what the Bible say about Jesus and they cannot accept what the Bible say and whatever return in the Bible. And Islam misrepresent Jesus of the Bible and not just only Islam and other faith, but even some Christians misrepresent Jesus as well. Did Jesus claim to be God? Where did Jesus say, I'm God, worship me? The Gospel writer and the epistle author believes that Jesus was God. All this historical figure and fact and authentic documents found in the New Testament book. In the book of Matthew, Luke, John, 1 Corinthians, Colossians, Hebrews and James, and 1 and 2 Peter. However, the question we must ask ourselves is this, did Jesus claim to be divine? With this, we do not mean that Jesus walked throughout the land of Israel proclaiming his divinity. He was introducing himself, I am Jesus, I, I am God, worship me. The reason why Jesus didn't do this because he doesn't need to. His life, his work have already been revealed but his mission was to do his Father's will. And he came to reveal the Father, which is in heaven. In Matthew 11, 27, John chapter 1, verse 18, and chapter 14, verse 9. In a monastic culture, in Mark chapter 12, verse 29, he will not do it. And moreover, Jesus has already testified all his divinity through his spoken word and his sinless life itself display all this quality and all the people surrounding the people who are with him already testify already give the testimony divinity of jesus and it is important to realize that often in the synoptic gospel matthew mark and luke early in his ministry jesus chose to show who he is rather than proclaiming who he is. In other words, Jesus does the thing that only God can do, which are implicit claims of his divinity, such as forgiving sins. Mark chapter 2, verses 5 to 12. In Psalm 32, verses 1 to 5, Psalm 103, verses 2 and 3. Jesus claims to be Lord of the Sabbath in Mark chapter 2 verses 27 28 only god can claim this attribute lord of the sabbath but jesus claim jesus himself claim he is the lord of the sabbath jesus also said he has authority over creation to calm a storm in mark chapter 4 uh, verses 35 through 41 in psalm 30 65 7 and psalm 106 verse 9 he drives out the money changer and cleans the temple, which is holy place to worship God and house of prayer. He takes control of the temple in Mark chapter 11, verses 15 through 32. He also claims his ability to give rest to people who are burdened in their heart in Matthew 11, 28, and even place himself as a son next to the father in Mark chapter 13, verse 32. It is in the last week of Jesus' life that we see him make what is probably the most explicit claim to his own divinity. Using Old Testament texts to prove it, some critical scholars consider that the Gospel of Mark presents Jesus as an idealist human figure. But curiously, it begins and ends with an accusation of blasphemy by religious leader against Jesus' own claim of divinity. 
of which only God can do it, forgiving sin, in Mark chapter 2, verse 7. He was asked by the Jewish high priest, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? In Mark chapter 14, verse 61. The title, the Blessed One, was a common paraphrase of for God. It is Jesus' answer to the high priest's question that causes controversy. Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming with the clouds of heaven. What Jesus refers to himself as a sitting at the right hand of power is probably a reference to Psalm 110, where King David speak about the Messiah in an exalted way, calling him Lord. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was even born, I am. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, when Moses asked God what he is to say to the Israelite, when they asked what God has sent him to them, God said, I am who I am. Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. If Jesus is the word of God, then he is God, which will give him the right to say that he is I am. According to the Bible and Quran, there are certain claims that only God can make. For example, the only God who can say that he created the universe. Yes, anyone can utter the word, I created the universe. But this statement would be a lie from anyone other than God. So when Jesus can say with the same authority which only God can, can say, we must conclude that Jesus claimed to be God. In fact, Jewish, Christian, and Muslim agree on many statements of Jesus have spoken and recorded in the New Testament. In John chapter 6, verse 35, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus also said he is a good shepherd. In John chapter 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep. Jesus also claimed this profound statement of his divinity. I am the first and the last, Alpha and Omega. Surah chapter 57 verse 3 of the Quran refers to Allah as the first and the last, the Most High. The Old Testament recognized that God is the first and the last. As we read in the book of Prophet Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 44 verse 6, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. When the word Lord is used in Old Testament title, it refers to Yahweh, the creator of the universe. Since both the Bible and the Quran give God the title first and the last, it should be very unpleasant for Muslims to open the New Testament of the Bible and read Revelation chapter 1, verse, verses 17 and 18, where Jesus say, Do not fear, I am the first and the last and I am alive, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever, and I have the keys of death and Hades. Can a prophet declare and say, I am the first and the last? Only God can pronounce this statement. And who can forgive sin? Can a man forgive sin? Only God can forgive sin. The Quran recognized that great forgiveness belongs to God, because he asked, who can forgive sins but Allah in Surah chapter 3, verse 135. It may surprise Muslims to discover that in the New Testament, Jesus claimed to have the power to forgive sin. In Mark chapter 2, a crippled man is brought to Jesus to be healed. Jesus' response leads the religious leader to accuse him of blasphemy. In Mark chapter 2, verses 5 through 7, when Jesus saw their fate, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. But there are some of the scribes sitting there, and they thought in their heart, Why did this man speak blasphemy like that? He is blaspheming, who can forgive sin, but only God. No man can forgive sins, but only God. Then why Jesus was forgiving sin? Did Jesus claim to be God? 
I am God, worship me. The writer clearly saw that only God can forgive sin. However, Jesus, who called himself the Son of Man, replied, the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sin. In Mark chapter 2, verse 10, Jesus have said that I have the authority to forgive sin. What's more do he need to say? Does he need to say, I am Jesus, I am God, worship me? Jesus also said, I am the light of the world. In Psalm 27, verse 1, the prophet David said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Similarly, the Quran states that Allah is the light of heaven and earth. In Surah chapter 24, 35, however, Jesus tell his listener that he is the light. In John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but he will possess the light of light. As the light of the world, Jesus offered a choice between the darkness of sin and the light of life in his presence. Prophet, the prophet David called Yahweh the true God in Psalm 31 verse 5. According to the Quran, Allah is the truth in Surah chapter 22 verse 6. Jesus, however, used this as his title in John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, I am the door. If anyone enter by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pastor in John chapter 10, verse 9. Jesus also said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this in John chapter 11, 25, 26? What does the Bible say about Jesus? Jesus is the central figure of Christianity. Christians believe Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, and the second person in the Trinity. The Bible did not explicitly say the exact word, I am God, worship me. But Jesus also didn't deny the claim of his divinity. The scripture the Holy Bible in both the Old and New Testament have already proclaimed the deity of Jesus Christ as the Son of God, the Messiah, the Christ, and Jesus is God. There is no other more significant testifying of Jesus' divinity other than the apostles who have been with Jesus. They have confirmed his divinity through their sacrificial living testimony. They have lived and suffered and died because of their belief and faith in Jesus Christ as their Savior, the Messiah. The Apostle Thomas called Jesus God, my, my Lord, my God, in John chapter 20, 27, 28. The Apostle Peter called Jesus God in 2 Peter 1, verse 1. And the Apostle Paul called Jesus God in Titus 2, verses 12 through 14. The Apostle John called Jesus God in John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3 and verse 14. The prophet Isaiah said that the Messiah would be God. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, because a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus gives eternal life and forgives sin in John chapter 10, verses 27, 28. Mark chapter 2, verses 5 through 7. The blood of Jesus is called the blood of God in Acts chapter 20, 28. Jesus himself called I am and the Alpha and Omega in Revelation chapter 22, verses 12 and 13. The New Testament described Jesus, He is eternal in John chapter 17 verse 5. He is all-knowing in John 16 30. He is all-powerful in John 5 19. Jesus is unchangeable in Hebrew chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus is the creator of the universe in Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. Jesus never sinned. He lived a perfect life. First Peter chapter 2 verse 22. First John chapter 3 verse 5 and 2 Corinthians 
21. In conclusion, let me read the Gospel of John, chapter 1, in verses 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. In verses 9 to 12, the true light that gave light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was met through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. In verse 14, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the One and the Only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. In verses 17 and 18, For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the, the One and Only Son, who is Himself God, and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Jesus didn't say he was just like a God. He claimed he is the Christ, the Messiah. He is God, and he is the Word. And according to the Quran, Word is God, because everything created by the Word. So Word is God. And Jesus claimed in John chapter 1, he is the Word. And Jesus also said, The Father and I are one in John chapter 10, verse 30. John the Baptist recognized the deity of Christ. Jesus is the Son of God in John chapter 1, verses 29 through 34. Jesus is God in human form. Jesus forgives sin. Jesus is the Son of God, the Savior of the world. He lived a sinless life. He died on the cross. For sinner, he was buried, rose from the dead in three days. He appeared to his disciples and many other people on many occasions after his resurrection. He lived with them for more than 40 days. Jesus said he will return when everything is ready. I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. In John chapter 14, verse 3. Did Jesus claim to be God? I am God, worship me, what do you believe?